We know there's a lot of the stuff coming up for Jude with the fact that Callie's gone and um, Jesus and his meds. Mm -hmm. Is he, how much is Brandon kind of stepping in and, and helping in those areas? And um, In terms of with Jude, is that what you mean? Or, or, or just... even with Jesus, I mean, just in terms of big brother, almost, but maybe almost fatherly right. because um, he is older, because yeah. maybe he feels responsible. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, with Jesus, I feel like Jesus, uh, the type of, of, of kid that Jesus is, he, he tends to handle things on his own. So you, you end up seeing a lot of Jesus's like sort of journey and, and Brandon and him sort of interweave at times, okay. but they don't always, um, sometimes it feels like they're kind of doing their own thing. Um, they're close in age. It sort of makes mm -hmm. sense. You know, they have their own things going on, but with Jude, it is interesting because, uh, Brandon and Jude didn't really have much of a relationship, you know, it was sort of like Callie and then Jude was introduced and so that was just had to be a thing, mm -hmm. but they didn't really have any time together or any discussions or anything like that. So I think you'll be seeing more of that. You'll be seeing more of a relation, an actual relationship mm -hmm. between Brandon and Jude um, and some serious talks are had and uh, I guess, you know, in an odd way, a bonding experience. Okay. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I think I think a lot of family members are going to be having these weird moments with each other and sort of connecting in ways you probably haven't seen before. Okay. So yeah, it should be interesting. Now you're talking obviously about uh, the relationship with Callie earlier. Where can that go? I mean, it, it, does Brandon is he at a point where he kind of feels like she needs to get her stuff together? I need to get my stuff together. We can't consider dating. Is he then? trying to stay away or um i think brandon is more along the lines of they have some unfinished business okay. they have uh you know um maybe some some things to say or some things to clear up just because he was left at a, a confused yeah. point i mean he she was she didn't tell him of his plans or her plans rather so he was as confused as everyone else when you know the next morning or whenever mm -hmm. they they find out. Um, so I think Brandon is a little frustrated, and he, he also, I think, gets to a place, since he doesn't have the information, he starts kind of filling in the blanks himself, and he's like, well, this must be the reason why, and this has to happen, so this has to happen. So he kind of, he becomes, like, really oddly obsessed with, with like, hmm. what it could be, and, like, you know, what's going on with Callie. So, uh, it, and it causes him to, like, get into situations that don't make sense for Brandon to be okay. in. But so is there, if he's obsessed in that way, I mean, is he just focused on her and not maybe looking to date someone else? Is there romance for D Brandon coming up? Or right. are we um, not in that place? I don't think, I, yeah, I don't, th he's definitely not done with the whole Cali situation. He needs some clarity there. He needs some sort of closure, even if mm -hmm. it needs, to, if it's going to end, he just needs that. But he needs something. I think it's too okay. unfinished for him to, move on to an actual like other thing okay. completely so yeah there's definitely there's a lot of um he yeah he has to he has to figure it out with okay. Callie. and yeah uh, <laughs> and for you as an actor i mean what has been some of the most fun scenes to to work on i mean it's a huge cast yeah there's a lot of really i think important issues being discussed i mean is there something that's really struck out either first you know first half of the season or what you're working on now um i mean you know overall I've I've been saying that it, it just feels amazing to be part of something like this, mm -hmm. you know, attached to a show that really has um, valuable messages and, and you know topics that should be discussed in mm -hmm. this day and age, and very modern sort of perspectives um, on what a family is, and you know, all that stuff that we sort of brought and in, introduced as a show. So something like that, having sort of the signature kind of vibe, is really really cool to be a part of. And seeing it develop even more is very, very cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I think one of my favorite relationships in the show, just for me personally, I think is Brandon and Mike. Mm -hmm. um, it just kind of strikes a chord with me, and uh, it's fun to see it develop. And um, it's tough at times, and it's kind of heartbreaking at times. But it's also a very interesting, very rocky and very real relationship I think I think a lot of people have to deal with you know parents who do have problems and, mm -hmm. and struggle and have struggles so um, yeah it's it's cool for me to be a part of 
explaining how that goes on a regular basis. And what can you tell me about what you're working on today? Okay. Um, sorry, proof uh, What can you tell me about what you're working on today? Today, actually, I am uh, I'm nice and, and off. Today. Oh, okay. so, well, this episode. This episode, okay. <laughs> uh, well, this episode we're working, um, there's a lot going on. Uh, speaking of Mike and Brandon, he is, Mike is uh, um, getting better. He's, he's sort of, I guess you could say, maybe recovering. Mm -hmm. Um, so Brandon's there supporting him, and uh, yeah, you know I think it's actually a lot of Brandon and Mike for for this for this particular episode that we're doing right now. So it's been a lot of fun. Nice. Um, you get to see more of where Mike's at in his life and, and what he's doing, and maybe you know some new elements in his life. Um, so it's very cool. It's 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 going well. <laughs>